Hi so guys, what's going on? Junius Tech here back on another one. Now, if you remember a, a while ago, I did a video regarding the dash cam that I fitted into my car. And ironically, for the price I got it from, it did extremely well. And it's the same dash cam I've been using in my car ever since. Well, a company got in touch and wanted to see if I would review one of their dash cams, and I was more than happy. I say to everyone that if you do own a car, you do drive a car, get a dash cam. They have got to be one of the most important things to have with cars. Like I know some of the newer ones like Teslas and all that, they already come with dash cams, 360 degree uh, protection. But a dash cam can pretty much save you from either your insurance going sky high or even possibly saving a life and all that rubbish. So dash cams have to be one of the most important things to have when you're in a car. So what we're actually going to be doing is taking a look at this one. What we're going to do is tear it down with all the equipment and then pretty much from there what we're going to do is uh, install it in the car and I'm going to show you some clips of roughly what it looks like and it definitely should be interesting. So let's go to the ceiling, we'll unbox this, see what we're working with. So this is what we got sent over. This is the car camera. This is the A11 9 V3 Quad HD Plus. This has a Sony Strava sensor. This is a Quad HD Plus and advanced parking mode as well. They also sent over a dash cam HK3 hardware wiring kit. So this allows us to connect this directly to the battery. So this can uh, hard, uh, record constantly. But that's something we're going to leave uh, to the side for now. Because definitely, if you are going to do this, definitely get a professional to do it. Unless you aren't a professional yourself. So what we're going to take a look at is the A11 9 V3 Quad HD. So we'll have a little look around this now to so see what we've got. So this camera does come with a 2 inch HD display. It does have a rotatable lens. It also comes with super night vision, 140 degree viewing angle. It has a super capacitor in it, allows for the battery charge. And it also has GPS logger, uh, which is also optional. So we'll get this unboxed and see what we're working with. So this is pretty much what we all get. So let's just go through the smaller bits first and then we'll narrow it down to the camera. So one of the things they do provide you is with these nice little clips here. This is pretty much what can go around the roof of your car to actually hide the cables. So you're not having to worry about them just floating around. So that's also something to consider. We also get two mountain brackets here as well, which do already come with pre-applied uh, adhesive. You just need to remove the red tape, which is nice to see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So we also get some uh, an extra adhesive pad here, which would be back uh, for the back of the camera. And the string, the reason they put the string is so you can actually put that around the back of the adhesive and slowly take it off safely. So it doesn't leave any marks or scratches without actually having to use any physical tools. So they also provide some electrostatic stickers. So you will put this down before you put the dash cam onto your windscreen. So when you actually want to remove it, this can be removed very easily. And it assures that it's not going to damage anything that's behind it and it's really simple. So you do get a few of them as well. And we also get this red thing. So this is a read before installation. So this is a little bit checking to do with the GPS uh, and micro SD card, see if it's all been installed correctly. And then we also have the user manual. The user manual is pretty much gonna tell you everything you need to know, how to install it, uh, what's the best cables to use and all that good stuff, which is very nice to see. Now we do get an extremely large cable going on here. So like I said, you never know where this is gonna be installed. Uh, so they do give you a very large amount of cable because you never know whether it's going to be in a car or even a truck or a wagon or anything like that. So the length of cable is very nice to see. You also do get um, a dual USB charger. So this will be for your cigarette lighter. I know a lot of newer cars don't actually come with these anymore. But like I said, most cars do come with USB ports now. So they provide this as well just in case. And then we also get a smaller USB as well, uh, which possibly could be for charging. I'm not 100% sure, we'll probably look at that a little bit down the line. And then we also have the camera. So the camera is relatively very nice, so I'm just gonna peel off the protective coatings here. So we have the company name going on there. We do have the two inch uh, HD screen, uh, on off button menu, uh, record, uh, hazard button, which I'm not sure about that. I'll probably have to look at this when we go for the specifications. And we also do have the mic as well. On the side, we do have speaker. We have an AV connection and also the USB port, which will either be for charging constant power. And then on the other side, we do have a reset button. We have a micro SD card, and we also have another speaker going on there, which is nice to see. So on this part, we do have the removable V3 GPS, which is right there. So if you don't actually want to use that, 
you can use one of these instead. So if you don't want to use the GPS, you can just pop one of these in instead and just use it like that. But for the time being, we're actually going to leave the GPS in there because that's what we're going to do as it says there, GPS module. And then we have the camera lens there as well, which is very nice. So this is adjustable camera lens. So it doesn't matter where, whether you have a flat windscreen curved, wherever this goes, you can just move this to how you want it. So it is very nice to see. So I'm going to have a little look at what some of these buttons do. And we're going to talk through that. And then we're going to go install this in the car and actually see what we're working with. So what we're going to do is I'm going to jump into some specifications about this. And then what we're going to do is go for a little journey. I'm going to pretty much show you how this actually records. Uh, I'll do a little bit of a backtrack as well to tell you how it actually performs. But it very, generally looks like it's going to perform very nicely. So what we'll do is jump into some specifications and we'll go from there. So there we have it guys, that was the dash cam. Now I have to admit, a little bit different from what I'm compared to, you know, from the one that we had previously, it was, you know, it runs a 720p, so the quality is not the greatest. It was easy to install with just a suction cup. But I have to admit, having something like this is definitely gonna make uh, life a lot easier, especially safer. So when it comes to the fact where I am on the road and I've got this on my windscreen, if I do per se get in an accident, I've got everything recorded and, it saves so much time, so much effort when you have a recording of, say, an accident you've been in or even an accident your dash cam has witnessed. You can also help someone out massively. Getting to that time of the year now where fraud is one of the most common things because it's Christmas time. People need an easy way to get money. So I definitely recommend if you take anything away from this video is go grab yourself a dash cam. Links will be in the description uh, directly to the website where you can actually go check this out. I really do recommend you get one. It's something that you should always have. You install it in the car and you forget about it. Simple as. Everything gets stored on the micro SD cards and it really is simple. It's so simple. But if you want to save yourself in the long run, like say if you do get in an accident, you rear end on someone, automatically it's going to be your fault if you don't have physical proof. But if they've stopped and uh, brake checked you, you have no proof whether that was your fault or their fault and it's going to be your save via their say and a dash cam would save your bacon well and truly. So if there's anything I can say to take away from this video, get yourself a dash cam, keep yourself safe on the roads, and that's all I can say. If you do end up getting one and you have any questions regarding it, go down the comment section below, drop me a message. I'm more than happy for you to email me or send me an email and we'll go from there because I'm happy to help anyone who needs an assistance with this. But like I say, thank you very much for sending this over. I have to admit this is going to be a permanent, permanent spot in my car now because why not? Keeps me safe, keeps everybody else safe. And the picture quality alone was amazing. Like I said, when we saw the clip, the picture quality was unbelievable. But in the end of the day, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my further videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching.